Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and today we have a 2017 Camaro 2SS Coupe. Yup, and like always, we're gonna be doing our review on our four categories, with each category having five stars, resulting in an out of 20 star rating. Um, if you wanna know what those categories are, just stick with us in this video, or you can check out a previous video to see what it's all about. Super simple and easy to understand. Um, so without further ado, let's get this started. First category up is the exterior styling. Yep, so uh, overall, we really like the look of this car. Um, it's got a paint called Red Hot, which was actually a $500 option. Um, and it also has the black stripes to go right along with that paint. Um, we really think that whole scheme with the red and black just really makes the car pop. Yeah, and going along with that color scheme, this car is optional with 20 inch gloss black wheels that have the red outline as well so yeah goes right along with the color scheme um, you got LED taillights you got LED headlights um, you got really nice uh, LED daytime running lights mm -hmm. too um, the whole you know the whole car just looks honkered down classic kind of sports car look to it mm -hmm. um, you know the 20 inch gloss black rims really fill in the wheel gaps well and uh, overall I think this um, being the Camaro is probably one of the more aggressively styled uh, muscle cars that being uh, pit it up against the Mustang and the Challenger. I think this one looks like maybe the most aggressive. You yeah, know? I would agree. I would agree. And so moving on to the interior, this car has black leather seats with red accents. And again, it goes really well with the color scheme of the exterior. Yeah, for sure. Um, just moving on to the overall um, interior, tons of room for the front two passengers. Can't say that for the back. This is probably the smallest back seat um, out of those three muscle cars that I was talking about. Um, now, is that bad or good? It really just depends on what you're gonna be doing with the car. Mm -hmm. um, but up here, you know, me and John got room. We got yeah. elbow, head space, foot space. Um, so that's not really an issue. Yeah, so some features that this car comes with is the ambient lighting and you have a lot of options on what color you wanna change oh, yeah. it to. Oh yeah, totally, any any color, it's gonna probably have it. Yeah, and it also has a mileing and this infotainment system is really good. It's like top notch. Yeah. The quality is really nice. And uh, talking about the Bluetooth connectivity, it connects instantly when oh, you turn instantly, on the car. Guys, yeah. It's crazy. Like the Chevy Myling, kudos to Chevy. First off for the Myling, just super up to date and everything. But second off, kudos to just how well they built it and just like he said, just connects instantly. Yeah. That was one of the features that like I was most surprised of this car, just how quick that happens. It's crazy. Yeah. It so I'm uh, moving on uh, just where I'm sitting on um, the gauge cluster. Super simple, easy to read gauges. Um, you got a nice digital um, display in the middle of the two analog gauges that will display various things. And you also have a uh, HUD heads up display unit, um, which also will display a myriad of things. Um, so overall, we really like the interior yep. of this car. Super cool. So up next is performance, and on the hood we have a natural aspirated 6.2 liter V8 producing 455 horsepower and 455 foot-pound of torque. Yep. It sounds so good, guys. Yeah, so 0 to 60 in this car is around 4 seconds. Yep, so uh, just a little bit, um, I want to kind of explain what it feels to drive it. Um, you got four driving modes, tour, sport, track, and uh, snow and ice. We're actually in track right now. Um, in, in track, the transmission is just super fast. fast. Um, overall, though, um, you know, with those driving modes, um, it messes with steering uh, input, throttle response, um, and also the eight-speed auto transmission. You also got four uh, piston Brembo brakes all around. Yeah, what's funny is that we reviewed the Corvette too, which has the eight-speed automatic transmission. So yeah, if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out after watching this one. <laughs> yeah, and also the engine straight from it too. Yeah, yep. So um, that's kind of cool too. Um, it sounds very similar, like we said, um, to the Corvette. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, it's a fast car, guys. No doubt about it. Yep. So moving on to the drivability, and uh, as you know, this car is rear-wheel drive, so it's not an all-season type of car. Yeah, that's the one thing, you know, and. Uh, when a lot of people are talking about, um, you know, I've, I've read reviews, I've seen reviews on YouTube, and a lot of people are just complaining about the visibility of this car. We really do not think it's yeah. that bad. We've been driving this car for maybe about half an hour at this yeah. point, yeah. and I mean, we're pretty used to it. Um, you know, visibility out the back isn't bad. Um, out the sides, it's really not bad. The funny thing is these, um, these windows um, are pretty short. You know, it kind of feels like you're in a tank. <laughs> And everybody says that, how they feel it's in a tank. And then they go on to complain about how bad the visibility is. That's where I disagree with everybody. I don't think this visibility is bad at all. You don't have terrible blind spots, you know, any of that. 
Um, you know, the hood, um, or I'm sorry, the dashboard does come up a bit. That is something to think about. Um, but like I said, it really doesn't, it's not a make or break um, in my yeah. opinion. You're buying a Camaro, you know it's gonna have that kind of sporty feel and everybody's just complaining so much about the visibility. We really don't think it's bad at all. No, it's not bad at all. No. It's not as bad as they say it is. No, it's not. Alrighty guys, so for our final thoughts and ratings of the car, first category up, exterior, we gave that a four and a half out of five. Yep, and for interior, we gave that four out of five. Yep, and for performance, we also gave it a four out of five. Yep, and to wrap it up with drivability, we gave that three and a half out of five. Yep, totaling a 16 out of 20 star rating. Um, so me and John really like the car. And if any of you are curious, this car as tested was $50,650. And we just wanted to give a special thanks and shout out to Sawyer Chevrolet in DeWitt, Michigan. Um, they provided this car for us. Super great people there, super great dealership. So we just wanted to give a quick shout out to them. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Yep, see ya. See ya.